Hello and welcome to the Touring Car Challenge. We're back in our Hyundai Elantra, and uh, we're here at Knock Hill again. The first track I ever did in this car, but uh, reverse. We're going backwards, and thankfully everyone's going backwards. <laughs> it's not going to be just me, but uh, man, this is crazy to drive. I, uh, I did lots of practice ahead of time, even more than usual. I kind of gave myself about an hour and a half instead of just the normal half hour because I was really slow last time at Knock Hill. And uh, I want to try to be a little bit more competitive and I think it's paid off. I've been able to increase my lap times a bit. Not sure uh, how competitive I'll be. Not fourth place, I can tell you that. I am the number four, but I don't think I'm expecting that much. So, be aware of that. <laughs> um, this is the... Um, the Nibon, the Nibon <laughs> uh, time slot, Wednesdays. Oof. Thankfully, I don't work today. I worked, I worked last week during the time slot, but uh, this week we're in here. We got Gavin, we got Nick, green, green, green. and uh, we got a good race ahead of us. I hope. I really hope. Okay. I hope I don't run into any, run into anyone, and I uh, hope that I'm not just. Devastatingly slow. Uh, not the greatest turn one there. Very inconsistent at this point. Uh, my best is a 52-2. I somehow managed to string a couple of good corners together that time. But uh, definitely not hitting that with any consistency. So, not sure where I'm going to end up, to be honest. It is a ton of fun though. You can really use up the curbs here, and which I kind of, I kind of learned. I, I don't think I was using up the curbs enough the first visit to Knock Hill, but uh, you can really kind of get away with it in this car. Really hitting those curbs, so that's been a lot of fun. It's like you're going off little ramps in half the corners. Uh, it's been a it's been a good time. So uh, we're not going to qualify well. I can promise you that. Give it our best, but it's not going to be great. Um, so probably gonna end up near the back and uh, just learning the car some more as as of right now still don't quite have it figured out overdrove that really bad and I didn't even shift down I thought I did but I didn't so that's gonna kill this lap fortunately uh, not great <laughs> See like how inconsistent I am. Watch out for me then, because I am bad. <laughs> yeah, I sent Nick a message saying like I'll probably be in the back learning the car. So I don't know if uh, he's kind of in the same position. Maybe we'll end up racing next to each other. Oh, <laughs> uh, all right. Wow, that was really quick. Everyone got laps in super quick. Uh, we're eleventh of sixteen. Um, looks like maybe. Ooh, I don't know. Good luck. That was... Okay. Everyone's getting good looks. <laughs> oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. But we'll give it our best go. I actually moved the brake brakes back just a tiny bit. A couple percentage. And uh, the steering ratio to 10 because that's what it recommends for the Hyundai. Uh, the for, It says steering ratio for the Hyundai is a 10 even though for the other ones it's kind of 14 generally. Got Gavin right in front of us. That's kind of what the lap times were looking like in the practices ahead of time, too. He was always just a couple tenths faster than I was. Oh, boy. All right, so let's see if I can not completely botch the start this time, because I've been really terrible on the on the getaways. I've been uh, betting my tires or just, you know, ripping over myself on the starts. So I kind of practiced that a little bit, even. Give that a little bit of practice, so hopefully it'll be a little better this time. We'll see. It's my third ever race in the touring car. So, you know, not going to be great. <laughs> At least I feel like uh, I've got enough control over it not to run into people. I'll probably be really under driving it a lot of the time to make sure I'm not losing control. And that's probably going to put us near the back, but... You know, maybe we'll get some freebies. 
maybe uh, I'll prevent myself from making any dumb mistakes. I messed, uh, I had a mess up. Where was that? At, uh, I guess it was the first race I did at Knock Hill. Yeah, I think I remember going off track. And then the next race was at Silverstone. I think I was able to keep on the track on that one, but... Oh boy! Green, green, green! Fifteen minutes left, that's fifteen minutes. Mm. Okay. I mean, we're moving. Car on your left. Still there. Uh, that was bad. But, live. Oh, hold on. I'm just trying to get single file here. Didn't even know they were there. Alright. Maybe uh, being able to watch other people as reference points is going to help us out. Hope so. You guys going real slow through here. So we're getting used to it. Oh, someone's off course. Oh, we've been dive bomb. Hello. There, hold your line. Clear on the left. Okay, he's using up the entire track. Thank you. It's not like I need to race on this track as well. P12. All right. I mean, I, I'm one to talk. I'm probably all over the place too. So. Oh boy. Just gonna keep it on. Keep it on track. What else can I do? We gotta find a spot we can get by this guy, because I do think we're faster. But passing is weird. How do you pass on a track that is so hard to even navigate in the first place? I don't know. I don't have the answer to that question. Uh, we got more people going off, though. Unfortunately, J.P. Phillips did. I recognize him, his name from Arca a lot, so... Remember to see a uh, familiar face. Have trouble? I'm not going too wide through here. Alright. More people going off. Can we get enough of a run to try to sneak by him this time? I'll try to outbreak. Not quite. Oh, made him go wide a little bit though. Hey, we made a pass. Oh my god, get the confetti out. At least until I lose it again. Like this. Alright, get back on safely. Alright. Hey! Put the confetti away! God. Oh no, Nick! Oh god. What's the point anymore? Oh my god, what's the point anymore? What am I doing? <laughs> I tell you what, though. This is hard to drive. I'm slow. But man, this track is fun. I'm having a good time anyway. By the way, that corner I went off... I've done that like every other lap in practice. I that corner has been the death of me, and uh, well, it didn't disappoint my race. At least it wasn't that bad of a loss. I kind of just uh, lost that position. I was so happy to get, but aside from that, <laughs> I guess we didn't lose all that much time. Could have been much worse, and I didn't go off that time, but it was really slow. So, pick your poison. Go off track. Or just do it really darn slow. Uh, 
That's probably my favorite section on the track right there, that like little quick chicane. I feel like I can get through there pretty fast, and it's real fun going right over those curbs and just flying through there. I had a lot of trouble in the in the forward configuration, the regular configuration of Knock Hill, but once uh, we got to this reverse one, I'm like, oh, okay, I kind of get it. That's fun stuff. So right now we are in 10th. I do feel like we're faster than this 12th, but he has not made the same mistake that I have that I almost made again. I don't know what it is about that corner, but I just cannot get it. So. Oops, cut that too short. Oh no, we're not a slow down. Hopefully that'll bleed off. That is even really having to try. Point eight. It's not going to be uh, going down much on this straightaway, but maybe we can break early for this corner. Yeah, there we go. You need to slow down to get back the time gained. All right, we're good. Just uh, took that corner nice and soft, and that's uh, got that slow down to go away. So let's try not to do that anymore. <laughs> I feel like if I could fix that corner just a little bit, my lap times would be a lot better. Didn't cut that time. Got a sideways there. Oh! <laughs> uh, overdrove that one. I'm not good at that corner either. There aren't many corners, so... The percentage of corners I'm not good at on a, co on a course that doesn't have very many corners is pretty high. Here, if you kind of take like a wider entry into that one, you can get a better run off. I found that can be a little faster than cutting in too early. Hey, that wasn't too bad for my standards through that corner. Fly through here. Woo! Don't overdrive that one. Still wasn't good, but didn't overdrive it to the point of going off course, so. Alright. Well, it kind of looks like we're just maintaining with the number 12 in front of us. So if we get a top 10 or whatever, I guess that's fine. It's not good, but uh, it's about as good as I can hope for. Oh, Okay, so we got lap car behind us, and then Nick back there. I haven't really been watching his relative. I don't know if he's catching us, but I'll check back in on that later. Might be good to know. Oh, who we got? The number five. So, our top ten has become a top nine at the moment. All right. P9, the gap behind is now 9.7 seconds. And we've actually gained quite a bit of time on this 12. I think the 12 takes the uh, that quick chicane on the back really conservatively. So I think we gain a lot of time on him through there. Will we have enough time to catch him, though? Or enough skill, because, you know, being good at one corner doesn't do much whenever you're overdriving and getting off the track <laughs> in other corners. So. Consistency matters. And, uh, haven't been great on that yet, so. Are they just, they're just sitting there, huh? Weird. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we're catching them fast enough at the, at this moment. To reach him by the end of it. Even if we are catching him, it's not enough, I don't think, because we only have a little, uh, about five and a half minutes left, so. Oh, we went off track a little bit there, though. It's all that dust flying. Alright, so that's gonna help us out. Maybe the more, uh, the closer we get, the more we might be able to pressure him. 
into uh, more mistakes. Nothing like making a mistake while saying the word mistake. <laughs> this part's so fun. This whole track's fun. Alright. Just flying over those curbs. It's a blast. So, uh, I was a little, like, weary at first after how poorly my first knock-kill race went. I was like, oh man. Is this just going to be one big mistake? Am I just Is this car never going to click with me? And am I just going to have an awful time every time I get in this? Because I'm going to be dirt slow. But, uh... Now that I've learned some more about it, gotten some practice laps in, and uh, kind of learned what this car likes to do, it's a, it's a lot of fun. Oh no, I did the thing. Good. The stewards are mad. Oh, did he cut there? That might have just been an optical illusion. Looks like he cut that corner though. Let's we'll see if he needs to do a slowdown. Or if he could just get rid of it like we did, kind of just naturally. So ninth place, we're actually pulling away from Nick, it looks like. He might... I don't know how bad his wreck was, I just saw him spin off. I don't know if he ended up getting damage from it or not, from an inside wall or something. But uh, right now, it looks like we don't have to worry behind us, so long as the lap car doesn't try to... I don't know. Pretend that he's getting ninth. Okay, <laughs> kind of slow, fine. Mm. Hello. We're suddenly here, aren't we? Get nervous. <laughs> I am, but I'm not gonna tell them that. Three minutes. So, about oh, three more laps. That is an overdriven corner. Overdriven corner. You've used half your fuel. So, apparently, we are using the intimidate button here. Now, for my next trick, we're going to not run into the back of them in the braking zone. Uh, he's really slow through here, so we got to be careful. Or he was in the past, yeah, so. Hmm. Passing's gonna be very difficult. Went a little wide there, we're fine. Uh, how are we gonna do this? About two laps to go, I have to assume. Hit that too hard. Dang it. Man, those uh, off tracks are starting to pile up. I kind of figured that was going to happen, though. Lots of places to go off here. Hmm. Why did I not shift? I'm a goober. What an absolute goob! Oh, he's off. He's off. Oh, no. He saves it. He keeps it on track, but... Oh, oh, that was close. Wheelbug came off the desk, too. How hard I yanked that to make sure I didn't run into him. Okay. Are we not last lap? Okay. We're still going. I'll just let... I'll leave that up to iRacing. Figure out when it's the last lap. I just need to focus on driving. Poorly, but driving nonetheless. I'm getting through there a little bit better. That wheel's coming off. I need to retighten it after this. Your 
last lap time was at 53.00. Oh, we're right here. I want to make this pass really bad, but I'm not going to wreck anyone for it, obviously. But I really want to try to get it. Ah, oh, he's better through there. I'm so bad in that corner, man. That's a cut. That's got to be a cut, right? Come on, that's got to be a cut. White flag. One more to go. That last lap was at 53.16. Not quite. Oh, it went too hard. Okay, we're still... Ooh. God. Uh, sorry, safety rating. It's nothing personal. I just don't have the road racing skill, I think, to get by him. Nah, we don't got it. I just couldn't figure out how to get by him. Alright, oh well. We got ourselves a P9. P9. That's the end of the race. Chicken flag, chicken flag. And, uh, good job. Very no good crashes. Job. It was me, uh, ending up off the course a bunch of times, so. <laughs> oh well. How'd everyone do? Got the number two in first. Gavin got sixth. Nick was right behind us. All right. Actually, I forgot how many people were in this. Sixteenth, ninth out of that. I'm not. I'm okay with that. About mid pack. That's kind of what I would. About what I would hope for. Kind of curious though. How much tire matter? Tire. Uh, tire wear matters in this series because I've noticed that kind of the right front does end up coming off. But, uh, yeah, that was a fun time. Very fun course. We got our five X from mowing the grass a couple times, but that's about it. <laughs> Combing the sand. Let's get ourselves a good angle. Let's see what happened. Felt a little aggressive here. I'm gonna kind of watch my start. I left, like, an absurd amount of room on the inside. It's just scared. <laughs> that's, like, almost comical how much I left. But, like, I didn't know, like, is someone trying to come in right there? I don't know. That's where, like, a third monitor would help. You know, like, the three monitors. I don't have that. I have to look left and right. So, I'm like, I don't know if someone's right here on me or something. I just know that there was someone inside me. So, I leave all the room I can. Anyway. What happened? It doesn't look like anything. I think Nick's doing anything there. to show him for some reason though is it just stuck on Nick it just wants to watch his video that's all it wants the damage report <laughs> wow it did I don't think I've ever had it that bad where it just straight up doesn't let me view any incidents at all that's a bummer Can I fix it like nope all right well it's just too big of an Nieben fan <laughs> to show me the incidents so I guess we'll uh instead Kind of check out our highlights from the race. We were stuck behind <laughs> the same guy the whole entire race. I just couldn't figure out how to make a pass. Got to qualify better. Got to have a better start if I want to uh, not have to deal with that. But I don't think I was much faster anyway. I feel like we were pretty equal in speed to the number 12. So Okay, what's, uh, what interesting things happened? We did get by him one time if I hadn't made a... Uh, Nick's in front of us at this point, right? No. When did he end up off track? I thought he was in front. Okay, we made a mistake, and then... Okay, I remember now. Okay, so... Oops. Yeah, so... Okay. There we go. So, I make a pass here. Do I not? Yeah, so... 
I'm super careful, and it still makes them overdrive, so that's what gives us the inside there. And, uh, so we get past them, and then I just, I, I throw it away immediately. I think it was just this next corner. Didn't break hard enough, didn't get the turn in, it locked it up, and ended up off course. So then we're chasing, oh, yeah, I didn't remember it happened immediately after. <laughs> so Nick, uh, what happened? He just, oh, went in there too hard. And then uh, was sideways going over the ramp. And, uh, yeah, maybe damaged his car just a tiny bit there. I don't know. I thought uh got one of our spots back after our mistake. And then we slowly start catching up. These were fun laps, just going all out, doing the best I could. Enjoying Reverse Knock Hill, which is a crazy course to run. I do recommend it if you uh, have the opportunity. All these curbs to jump over and everything. So majority of the race, we're just catching up slowly. Got a couple people uh, spinning off, so we got freebies. And uh, all that that's like why you got to not make mistakes, man. Because like... Look at all this time we lost, and it takes so long to reel them back in. And then finally, after so many laps, we're finally starting to get up to them, and we're still making like a couple little mistakes here and there. They are too, of course. Um, so, you know, it's delaying the ca our ability to catch up, and then finally they kind of go wide there, and now we're right on the bumper. And then I just, I don't know how to pass. I couldn't figure out how to pass. I couldn't really set anything up because... I mean, I'm still figuring out how to run the course normally. So we almost had a nose right here. Because they went a little wide there, and we had speed. So I thought maybe we could come in, but they just completely closed the door on us there. Not the place I want to be trying to pass anyway, I don't think. But uh, you can see, like, normally you would run through here almost at full speed. And I'm like, oh, uh, maybe I can be on the inside. But that would be kind of a dive bomb. So that's why I ended up backing out. I'm like, he's not going to leave me the room. So I got to back out. It's my responsibility to back out here. So hit the brake a little bit, lose every bit of runoff into the straightaway. And so I had to reel him back in a little bit more. Thankfully, it doesn't take too long, I don't think. You know, I was just a tiny bit faster, just not enough, not enough fast, faster to uh, actually make the pass on him, I don't think. But we get back up on him. You know, look to the inside, make mistakes. Just could never figure it out, but I was trying. I really was. And that was the end of the race, so. Uh, too bad we didn't get to see the incidents, but uh, it's broken. Let me try one more time. Yeah, no, it's still broken. Now it's just showing me, so. All right, well, thanks for watching. I was finally able to uh, join one of the races on the Nieben time slot. I was... <laughs> yeah, me too. This place in this direction sucks. Uh, and fun, but was also bad. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was pretty fun, but... <laughs> yeah. Just, uh, I think it almost clicked better than... The regular knock hill, but maybe it's just a little bit of experience. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was kind of funny immediately after. Oh boy. Glad I could finally run this time slot. Alright, well, there's not much else to say from this point, so uh, I'm just going to say goodbye for now. Fun race. Did okay-ish. Went off the track a couple times, but about what I expected from myself, so... Uh, yeah, I'll see you later then. Thanks for watching.